good morning guys welcome back to my channel today is monday and it's a snowy day finally winter has arrived here in wisconsin last night when i was coming home from work it was like a pack of snow and glad today i don't have to go to work but there's a lot of errands that I would like to get it done because I'll be going back to work again tomorrow preparing for the New Year's so over the holidays Christmas I work my Christmas that's life here in America it's just a normal day it's very different back home in the Philippines I work all the time. I choose to work Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. That's the holiday I always choose to work and I always take time off New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. This year I will have four days off before I come back to the New Year's. So anyway, <laughs> I thought this is kind of getting long introduction but I don't know. I decided to film today because it's been a while since I get to film and see you guys. I'm still in my pajamas. I am going to Costco today. I did one the other day, but I did not get what I need to get today. But today I told my husband what I want for our, thing, uh, for our New Year's Eve meals i wanted to have a prime rib so that's what we are gonna have for new year's eve carrying on to the next day but the next day new year's day i'm planning to make um some filipino dish because my daughter requested it so i thought why not film today since i have time and take you guys my background is somewhat messy right now. I still have my uh, luggage or my bag that I need to unpack. This is a while ago when me and my husband travel. So there's still a lot of clutter here that I have to tidy up. And I, this today is my laundry day too. So yeah. And I'm looking at my window right now. I should give you guys a look. It's a snowy outside. It's beautiful. I mean, I was so happy because there's no, there's no snow. Normally before Christmas, we have inches and inches of snow. But for some reason, we didn't have white Christmas this year here in Wisconsin. I mean, I bet for some people, they are very very sad about it they are probably looking forward to have white christmas but it doesn't make a difference to me i like it that way no snows in the ground i mean i like it when it's white outside i just don't like it stepping on it and coming back inside the house because i think it's kind of messy and wet so let me show you what it looks like outside a little bit let me open my window you can see this is my north folk from last year that i got it has grown quite a big and it's living happily here in my bedroom beautiful i just love it i think pretty soon i need to added some soil because look i don't know what's going on it's, it doesn't look like it has enough soil so I'm not touching it right now, but I'm going to add soil next time. And also, let me share it to you guys. This is my uh, lipstick plant. And it's blooming like crazy this time of the year. As in so beautiful. You guys would love to see this. It's just like all the way down. It's non-stop blooming it's perfect for the holidays red it's so beautiful all the way and it's kind of trailing very very long right now i last time i said i'm going to cut it but I'm glad i didn't have a chance to tidy up and cut it so let me show you what it looks like 
outside here's our window see look at it that's what it looks like outside i don't have let's see the screen is blocking it maybe i'll give you guys a better look when i go outside it's hazy day today and it's supposed to be high 36 somewhat that's the weather reports for today so yeah i'll get ready and then take you guys outside so before i think before i go to costco today i am planning to do um what you might call cut some of this and propagate it because it's getting too long and something that it's nice to start to grow on this winter time here i know i'm not supposed to propagate but it's indoor there's no excuses if you're doing planting indoor it's it's okay so i'm just gonna propagate it and let it grow and for the spring it will be ready to give away for friends that's probably what i'm thinking so before i go to costco i'm going to do that yeah let's <laughs> let's begin let's begin so it's nice to be back here it's nice to see you guys i mean my mess away no showers but it's okay we're all human and we don't need to look so glamorous all the time this is the reality this is what we normal people look like i mean not being honest what i do for day by day and what i look like every day you know so that's blogging all about just being true so yeah i better get going i think i'm just gonna go take a shower and freshen up myself and then propagate my syndapsis pictus exotica that's what i'm going to do i'll be back guys i have this syndapsis pictus exotica and it's getting to be too long and i thought it would be nice to propagate it so i could give it to a friend and it would be nice for a something to have and growing before springtime comes so that's what i'm going to do today and i have my propagation base here i normally like to propagate it in sphagnum moss but water always always work fine with me too and plus i don't have a sphagnum moss at this time so we'll just do water I love this. It's very pretty. I'm not gonna cut that much. See, look at the look at the roots, aerial roots.
like today. And I'm gonna step on it. It's really wet. Very wet. I am here at Costco and as always <laughs> it's crowded I'm going to get my Costco card ready making sure I got it because last time I did this last time that I drove all the way down here but I did not have my Costco membership so I have it my Costco executive membership which is it's good because every time we shop uh we receive um money back not the whole money that we spent but we do get some money back and we reuse it to buy some more items so i got it ready and for those of you i think para din tong katulad sa pilipinas ng landers i don't know if i say it right Para sa mga taga Pilipinas. Yeah, Costco is, I think, similar to Landers in the Philippines. So I'm going there. I don't need to get that much. Just get few. And I started late. It's now 12.15. I started late because I had to eat my breakfast first because I felt like my sugar is running low. Because so I'm kind of like jittery. So, yeah. So let's see what we can buy not a lot just like I said just some food for our um, New Year's Eve dinner so let's go inside so this is the Rib rolls with bone in, it's like $93, and the rest is $112. So, this is the boneless one. I might go for a bigger one. I finally back in my car I get done what I need I spend more than I plan to but it's okay it's for this coming year so you know just kind of like enjoy the blessings that we have for 2021 and enjoy you know have a good time for this 2022 so I got what I want the prime ribs so I was texting my husband what he wants the bone in or the boneless one but he never replied but I picked the one with the bone because I think it's more tasty that way and the boneless it's kind of like boring <laughs> I mean, it's too meaty. So I want something that I can bite in and chew in a little bit. So I think my husband will like the same thing too. So yeah, I spent like about $100 for 
just that prime rose or the rib rose so that's what we're gonna have for new year's eve dinner this time i'm heading to another store because i need to get some uh stuff to marinate that rib rose because they don't have it here in costco so yeah let's go to the other store I'm finally home guys and I decided to eat my lunch and then today I am going to wrap some spring rolls. I did mix up all the ingredients last night before I go to bed. So it'll be kind of nice and marinated all the ingredients. Today I'm going to wrap it because that's my husband's special request. Some spring rolls today or egg rolls as we call back home. So that's what I'm going to do and I have some laundry going on. And yeah, I changed my clothes because it's kind of warm inside the house. Anyway, let me show you my, um, before I do my egg roll wrapping, let me show you my some of my plants that's thriving really well at this time, even though I am pretty much neglected them. Let me give you a little tour. So let me show you guys my Philodendron Pink Princess. I really love this look at that, the variegation of pink. So far, all what's growing right now has like real pretty variegation of pink. So this one, it looks like it's going to be a lot of pink also. This is new that's coming out. And this one hasn't been open and there's already one that's sprouting. So this is what it looks like. And for those of you who are asking <laughs> how I take care of my philodendron pink princess, honestly, I don't really know what making these big leaves growing, this huge. It's just like, I just use, you know, some padding mix that is like pretty much everybody's using. Nothing special and watering is like same, nothing special. So yeah, but I'm so proud of this. Look, it's so pretty. And those are some of my plants. They're not really doing well. I have not doing anything special right now. They are not really being taken care of because, you know me, I put some twinkle lights in my Syndapsus uh, Argiellos or I don't know what they called it. I forget. And look, it's running all the way that way. And this is my Gloriosum that it wasn't doing very well lately, but now I think it started to come back to life. And these are some of my Hoyas. I, some of them used to be in Lekka, but I decided to put them back in soil because it's kind of too much work for me, but so far they all growing nicely into soil and active, um, acclimating well. And this is my Hoya Menderosas. Look, look guys. Okay, yeah, it's kind of too bright. It's blooming. I don't know what color of this. Some comes in pink, but we'll see. And this is my I Cron Cronia silver, I believe, and it's been blooming. Oh, it looks like there's some. See, I told you there's some mealies. I need to do something about this right away. So it's blooming. And this is my Hoya Albo Marginata that I am currently, well, it's been propagated, it has lots of roots. I need to mail this to my friend. And I haven't got a chance to mail it, but if you're looking at it, it's growing some, oh, it's blooming. 
You see it? I don't know what color, but exciting. And these are some of my Hoyas that I got a while back. It's Matilde, and then this is the Engelriana, Rihanna. And some more. And I have some plants that are dying right now. So that's all the glimpse of my plants here in my collection. There's, they're still alive. I still got them. Some I get rid of and some are like I decided to sell. So this one are from Adele. I forgot this philodendron. Uh, I forgot what kind of philodendron is this, but yeah, this is from Adele is growing. And yeah, yeah, this is what my plant collection still look like. I still got them. But, and this is my uh, Brazilian tree that it's growing nicely here. Although it's pretty messy plants because it's always dropping leaves here, right there. Like it's dropping leaves from the bottom. So especially if, see, look at that. Like if I shake it, it's drop leaves. So, but it's alive. So yeah, this is what my plants collection look like. And this is my Anthorium crystallinum. It's, it's actually growing, but I'm not really crazy about it. My humidifier is not working at this time, so it's broken, I think, but I'm not planning to buy a new one at this time. We'll see. My plants have to adjust now <laughs> for me. I don't adjust for them now. I I think, you know, I kind of get worried too much for, for them. So right now I'm going to let them grow on their own. So yeah, some of the plants right there. I have to vacuum here. So that's all. That's all my lim simple little mini plant update. So guys, I have my egg wash, my spring roll wrapper, and my meat, and I have a plate, and another plate to put my finished product. So I'll show you how I do it, or how, I mean, we have different way of creating this spring rolls like I especially have my own way and this is not the traditional spring rolls that we do back home. I kind of <laughs> spice it up a little bit. I add some cheese in my meat mix because that's what my husband like. As you can see this is the mix. I don't know how much I'm gonna get out of the, into this meat. I normally can wrap like uh, 200, but I only have 150 wrapper, so I'm gonna wrap as much as I can today. So it'll be ready. So I'm just gonna scoop. Let me see, I'll show you guys. I like it a little meat inside because then it'll be nice and crispy. But some people prefer lots of it. And I don't cover it that much. It's sticky, but it looks like I see all the corners. <laughs> process like that just keep going 
Ayan. Just make sure to wash hands really, really good. I always like to make this ahead of time because so all I do is fry it. Sometimes this is a hassle so if you have somebody that could help to undo it for you that will be really great. So I'll keep going and do this and I'll come back and show you later. Venice wrapping my egg rolls, friends, and I am so sleepy now. I'm tired. I think it took me an hour and a half to finish the whole wrapping. So this is part of it. I totally wrap about a hundred pieces of egg rolls, spring rolls. So yeah, it's the 50 pieces I already put in the freeze it for, so be ready for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And so this is the rest. I'm gonna fry me, oh no, not fried. I'm gonna use my air fryer. I've never done it. This is gonna be the first time. I wanna see how it tastes if I use my air fryer. So I'm gonna mix few and test it in my air fryer. So that's what I'm going to do. This is it. It's, it's this is the first time that I feel like wrapping this egg rolls. It's like I feel like so impatient and I feel like I am so tired and sleepy. I don't know why. Normally I enjoy wrapping it, like I can wrap it like fast, but this time. It was dragging me. I don't know why. So, yeah. my husband will be happy to have some of this for the dinner and the next day. I'm gonna air fry me some and eat it for my dinner tonight. We'll see how it tastes. I'm going to try putting six for now. Let's see how it tastes. minutes I have this maple chili sauce so this is my dinner by the way rice and part of the meat from the egg rolls I didn't wrap it because okay this thing doesn't dang that's so looking good chili sauce so let's give it a try in fairness it's crunchy but it takes a while to get it done mm. it's done it's crunchy but to be honest I much rather cook it in a deep fryer because the taste of the oil makes a difference so yeah that's my observation and if you really wanted to be eating healthy yeah I suggest air fryer but if you want to enjoy the food even more deep fryer so yeah I'm going to eat and enjoy this guys Mm. It's crunchy. 
I mean, it's not greasy. That's the plus. Anyway, I will enjoy my dinner, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.